hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create an expandable image gallery using html and css here on my computer screen if i hover on any image you can see the image will get expanded and it will display the full image and with the full image you can see the name also if we move cursor from one image to another image then the next image will get expanded and this expansion is happening very smoothly when we hover on any image we will make this beautiful image gallery step by step using HTML, CSS. So keep watching this video till the end. Here in this folder, I have one HTML and one CSS file and another folder called images. And in this folder, you can see some images that I will be using on the website. You can find these images download link in the video description. Now I will open these files with my code editor, which is Visual Studio code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Now we will add code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container. Next we will add the CSS for this container. So for this container, we will add the width and height. Then we will add the background and in this background we will add one color code and after that we will add the display flex align item center and justify content center so that the gallery will be in the center of the web page. After adding this let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this plain color on the web page. Let me close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again. Now let's come back to the HTML file. Within this container, we will create another div with the class name gallery. And inside this gallery, we will add one div with the class name IMG box. And in this IMG box, we will add one text. So let's add the text in H3 and here we will add any caption or name of the user. Let's duplicate this. And here we will update the name. After adding this, let's come back to the website. You can see these names here and it is in the center of this web page and we have to add the image also so let's come back and come to the css file here we will add that class name gallery and for this gallery we will add display display will be flex align item center and justify content center after adding this let's come back to the website and here you can see all these text are aligned horizontally Next, let's come back and here we have the class name IMG box. We will add the CSS for this IMG box. So write this class name here in the CSS file and here let's add the width. It will be fixed 100 pixel and height also fixed 500 pixel. Now you can see some space here. Let's come back and we will add some margin. It will be 10 pixel and we will add the border radius border radius will be 50 pixel and next we will add the background and in this background we have to add the image so let's add the url and file path of the image so let's add the first image images slash image one dot png then we will add the background size it will be cover and background position will be center and uh, after that you can see the same image in each div and right now the width is very small so let's come back for now let's change the width 300 pixel and after that you can see it looks good next we have to update the image in each div so let's come back and here we will add the same img box then write nth child 2 for the 
second image box in this one we will add another background so write background url images slash image 2 dot png for the second image here also we will add the same thing background size and background position next we will duplicate this and here we will add three and this one is four here we will update the image it is image three and image four after that you can see different image in all four div and next we have to change the position of this text which is in the heading text you can see we have added the text in h3 tag so here let's add image box and h3 and we have to add the color it will be white then we will change the position position will be absolute and bottom 0 and left 30 pixel and here we are adding position absolute so in this image box we will add the position relative after that you can see here is the position for the text it is at the bottom here we will add the opacity 0 so it will be hidden and it will be visible when we will take cursor over the image now let me change the width of these div so let's come back here and here we will make it 100 pixel again it is a small and next we will add the hover effect and when we will take cursor then only it will expand the width of this image so let's come back and here we will add image box hover so after hover we will add the width so width will be 300 pixel and let's add the cursor pointer and here we are adding width in the hover so in this image box we will add transition width 0 0.5 seconds now just come back and if i take cursor you can see the width of this image is increasing you can take cursor on any other image also and it is working same next we have to display the text so let's come back and here we will add this img box hover then h3 so for this h3 we will add the opacity opacity will be one so it will be visible and we have to move it up so let's add bottom 25 pixel earlier the bottom was zero here you can see bottom zero so it will move by 25 pixel and in this one we will add some transition so it will be smooth movement transition bottom it will be 0 0.5 seconds and opacity also opacity 0 0.5 seconds again refresh the website and you can see if i take cursor the image is expanding and it is also displaying the text and this text is also moving when we take cursor so finally we have created this expanding image gallery easily using html and css so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one Thank you so much for watching this video.